I don't know that I was surprised. Um, I think, you know, we've seen a number of other states already go in that direction. Um, and I think if you're uh, you know, paying attention to what's going on with the curve of this uh, virus, that, um, you know, I think the CDC's gotten, gotten to the minimum of eight weeks. And, of course, that would have taken us to the middle of May. Um, so, you know, and, at that point, there's about a month of school left, and so I don't think I'm terribly surprised, I guess. At the same time, I'm sure it's going to create a lot of anxiety and a number of questions that we have to answer, particularly for our graduates, and so we have a lot of work to do. Okay, so moving forward, how is this going to work, or is this is this in the planning stages right now? Yeah, we, we anticipate in the next day or so getting some guidance from the DOE about a lot of the issues um, associated with things like how do we give kids credit, how do we move kids forward, what's going to happen with the standardized testing, what's going to happen with accreditation, what's going to happen with graduation. Uh, there's just a lot of intricate details in the regulations both at the state level and locally. And so we know they'll give us guidance in the next day, um, I think is what we were told. And then once we have that guidance, we'll sit down with our team here locally and start making decisions about how we're going to handle this, and then we will be communicating with our families and our staff as soon as we're able to do that accurately. What is your message to, to parents who might be freaking out right now? I think my message right now is it's understandable if you've got concerns. Um, just try to breathe. Um, I think the word of the day is, is calm, assurance for our children. Let them know it's going to be okay, that there are a lot of really good and talented educators in this school division that are going to be working very hard to make sure that um, this school year comes to an end in a way that is supportive of all of them. You've, um, you've been around the block before. Obviously, this is probably something that uh, I mean, I, none of us have ever seen. Is this something that... Um, that that is even on the radar that, that, that potentially this something like this could happen and that and are you equipped to handle something like this you know um the, the city and the school division have had a pandemic response plan in place since the um in um i don't know that anybody ever anticipated something at this level but we are equipped to continue with operations and uh, we are equipped to continue with learning. It's just figuring out what that looks like. Very good. Anything else you want to say? No, we just appreciate the understanding and patience of our community as we try to get answers to the questions we know that they have. Um, we, as I said, have a very talented team working on getting those answers, and we will be communicating those as quickly as we can. All right.